What is up guys, Dylan here, and in this video of my Hangman tutorial series, we are going to program the game screen for the Hangman game. So, let's get into it. So now we are going to do our game. So let's go ahead and click new, open in scene builder, and let's just make sure that this is the same size as before by going to layout and you can see they were close but not quite we want 700 by 500 and of course I think it would look weird if that if this was a different color but if you really wanted to make it super evil you can make it just slightly different color so someone will get annoyed by it but I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the same color code as before like so and we've got that up and running so let's add some Let's add some simple stuff for the view right now. I'm going to add a label up here in the corner with the with the with the game. And right under that, I will I'm going to add a counter for the number of lives left. And right next to it, I'm going to add another label that will have the number of lives. For now, we will just type in zero. And then this label will be dynamically updated throughout the game. So we will call it label lives like so and make sure and control S. And just like that, saving has ruined the font of my label. Let's go ahead and fix that. And I don't know why the heck that is wrong, but we will go ahead and just leave it for now. So now what we would like to do is we would like to add a text label for where the word is going to go. So if I can spell and find label, we'll do that. So we're gonna add a label right here in the middle. We are, just, let's just call it dash, 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 dash for now. Go ahead and crank up the size on that guy. And let's move on, let's stick him right in the middle right there. So that's where our word that the computer has chosen is going to display. Now let's add in so that they can that they can guess. Oh, and before I get forget, let's add an ID to this one as well. We will call it label word. And then down here on this label, let's go ahead and say enter letter. And now we will add the text view, the, the text field that we saw earlier, like so. So here's where they will guess the letter. And let's go ahead and give that an ID of field, because it's a test field, guess. And last but not least, of course, we are going to use a button. And we are going to call it button guess. And you guessed it, you get another label. And this time we will call it BTN guess. And make sure and control S to save. Now here's a neat little trick if we'd like it to stay neatly all in one row and we wanna center that row, then we can go up here to containers. We can use the HBox pane like so and we can drag in the enter later, enter letter the field and the button, and then just make sure the HBox is selected and drag that bad boy out. And then over here, we can go to properties and position the stuff. So we will position it in the center. And then we also want to add some padding. So I believe that will be in layout. 
And then for padding, we will use more, let's just try a spacing of 15. And you can see that that spaces everything else out nicely. I'll resize that a little bit. And then we can just drag this thing and move it right into the middle of the page. Nice and easy like that. Now, if we want to add a place for somebody to see which letters they've guessed, we can easily do that by using a label. And we will add an, a label down below. For now, I'm just gonna put a text of A, but eventually this will be set to zero. And because we will want to come back to this later, we will give it an ID of label guesses. Of label guesses. So that does it for our user interface for now. We will add some more controlling buttons down here at the bottom that the user will be able to see when the game has ended. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it for this second video in our Hangman tutorial series. In the next video, we are going to be connecting our GUIs to the controller and beginning to implement some of the functionality of the user interface. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.